Hey, we're live. Hello, everyone. I hope you're keeping well. I hope maybe you're feeling a little bit summery. It's such a nice day here at the moment. So I'm taking every available moment to get outside. I hope you can too. Um, so this week, I bring you along the absolute classic crane. I know we've folded this before, but you can never fold enough cranes. And um, it has so much meaning. And actually, excellent, Eric. I hope your fingers are, are in good shape today. So actually this fold, and I've shared it also as a, as a YouTube film already as well, is dedicated to an amazing organization, Volunteers in Japan, in Osaka. Uh, hello, oh honey, what a treat. Hello honey, and Stephen and Eric. Oh, the gang coming together, how lovely. Really great to have you here. Um, gonna share a really special project. So I'm absolutely delighted to hear from someone called Kimmy, who's from Japan. Oh, amazing, Elizabeth, that is incredible. I know she was deeply, deeply touched that, uh, for, for seeing your photos and that you'd care to do that. It's so lovely of you. Yes, so lots to explain here. So I was contacted by someone called Kimmy, who's from a voluntary organisation called Yomotomo in Osaka. I have to check my names because I can easily get in a twist, I'm afraid. Um, and they're doing such lovely work and she was very keen to get in touch with me as part of Origami Pulse because she felt a lot in common and it's just been so touching to hear what they're doing and Ollie will start telling you a little bit about it so I will show you something that happens to be visiting Oxford her husband's um, doing a kind of a visiting fellowship in one of the colleges here. So it was so lovely to meet somebody in person. That's a, a rare thing these days. Um, oh, sorry, Marnie, Laura. I hope you can um, come back. Yeah, I just natter for a few minutes, first of all, so you won't miss anything. I hope I'm sounding more normal this week. I did listen back and hear that I did sound like a Dalek. <laughs> I think it was the connection problem. So, yeah, so Kimmy, so she very kindly gave me um, this beautiful gift. And this is made by someone who's 92 in Japan, in Osaka. And this is what it says on the back of it. So, Omotenashi is the Japanese way of hospitality. This is a gift from Japan with all our hearts. One by one, these Orozuru origami cranes were created with deep feeling by people in Japan, including dementia patients, the elderly who need care, as well as the members of Team Expo 2025 programme. In Japan, we have a culture to create origami cranes while praying for the health and happiness of people who are important to us. And yeah, so this, this crane is a, is a gift and she's been encouraging people in uh, oh dear, is it still, is it tricky again? What's going on? Hello everyone. Can you hear me okay or not really? Yeah, oh, Eric at least heard that. Um, really lovely project. So people in care homes in Osaka are being encouraged to, um, oh brilliant, to fold cranes um, as something really positive and the idea that they bring circles of smiles. I love that, that how it spreads. Uh, I think origami is all about that spread, that sharing. Um, that's certainly what I always feel about it. A little bit different to other art forms where you just do something for yourself. This is all about that connection with others and wanting to pass it on, which I find so beautiful. Oh, good. I'm glad, Marnie, you can, you can hear me better now. Thanks, Barbara. Glad to hear that. I don't know what's going on recently. Um, so they are creating um, something every year, building up to Expo 2025. I'm really keen that we can find a way to work together, but we're already doing that, actually. Um, so they are creating a display of 20,000 cranes in Osaka um, in July. And um, yeah, I was wondering if anybody here wanted to contribute. So if any of you wanted to, um, and just to feel like you're showing your care for people across the world, just as a really nice thing. I think we've all been feeling a bit disconnected and that the world's in so much turmoil to send cranes that give smiles and encouragement to people with dementia there that people care. Um, is just a really lovely thing. It also struck me too that um, I can't imagine that happening here, people in care homes folding cranes, but 
the reason is in Japan, of course, children learn to fold cranes in kindergarten. That's their, you know, that's where they start. I mean, it's quite a difficult fold, actually. And um, oh, good. I'm glad no buffering now. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, isn't that an amazing thing that if you if you learn to fold when your child does with you throughout life and maybe in those difficult times when you lose so much you still have your origami there and that will bring a sense of purpose to those people who are otherwise so confined and it also brings joy to others around it also makes beautiful displays so their display i think is going to be july the 22nd if any of you wanted to send any cranes um you can send them to an address which i can pass on but if you, you'd have to get in touch with me first either through origami pulse uh, there's an email there and i'll be forwarded that and i can send you details or if you happen to use twitter at dr lizzie burns then you can get in touch with me that way um yeah so i would then be able to send you an address which is here in oxford in the college um so you could send any crane so our deadline for that is the 12th of june um i'm also encouraging a few people in the park maybe just just friends to join and fold and send and Kimmy's been very touched Elizabeth that's so kind of you so Elizabeth is in France and has already sent some cranes I know Kimmy was deeply touched it's such a part of Japanese culture folding cranes so it must feel quite interesting that other people are interested in origami of course we are um so yeah so it's quite interesting and it's quite lovely isn't it a 92 year old and she was able I we we made a little film where I tried to say thank you in Japanese I really I really can't say much my memory for languages is terrible um and they also saw the film that I made but they said whilst they couldn't understand it they could they could get the feeling of what I was doing and they were impressed that I was folding into the air which is rather lovely so oh how lovely yes and of course the Hiroshima Peace Park is very much where people um send and share cranes um but this is this is slightly different encouraging community and those i guess there it's very much community and peace there is something very peaceful i think we're needing that more than ever when we're feeling how yeah torn apart things are let's let's encourage togetherness so if you fancy make any cranes to send to japan get in touch with me um, and I'll be delighted to send you that address absolutely fine if not as well <clears throat> most of all I always encourage you do it for yourself first of all and if you feel like doing more then yeah but I feel rather special that's connecting us to the world how lovely that somebody has kept that in their memory for instance childhood so um I did previously make a, a video of origami cranes of course the classic thing to do but I've adapted it slightly for, for sharing on screen because it's quite difficult showing 3D things. Um, but I'm going to go back to the traditional way. And actually, I think it's the most soothing in your hands. So, oh, thank you. Some papers I brought back from Japan. I've got quite a few really nice ones. And whilst the pattern papers maybe don't feel quite so good for things like the modular, they I mean, they are made for cranes. They're just so beautiful. I've been taking it out to the park and photographing it there as well yeah brilliant also just to let you know um i'm next week as usual but i'm probably going to cut this down to once a fortnight now the reason is because this is part of my work in the hospital and i've been working remote this entire time uh um oh is it the one no i don't think i suppose i don't know if you can blow into the crane or not we'll see i don't normally no I just just you inflate it by opening the wings actually but maybe there is a way that I don't know about honey um yes yeah, so working in the hospital which is one day a week and this work has kept it going um but thinking it would be really lovely if I can reconnect in person so we're going to have an experiment I think it'll be something like uh Wednesday the 16th of June um that I will hopefully go and try out a day in the wards obviously uh, mask and visor lateral flow test before and a little distance so it'll be a test but you know what I reckon people will be so they've been so isolated it'll be so hard for patients at this time that it will be really lovely and I haven't had the chance to work with patients so thinking if that goes well every every other week I would go to the hospital so um, but I'm keen not to lose this online as well because this is also special and some people use it this way um and it's quite good for staff and it's just great generally isn't it so I think once a fortnight so I'm here next week then I'm actually taking a week's break 
and then I'll be back and then it'll start it'll continue that two weeks so it'll be a fortnightly fold um I hope that's okay but that's just I think I I have to do some in-person things I mean I really want to so it'll be lovely I think lovely for patients and it's great you can keep as safe as possible as well so right let's get folding so here's one of my drawings of a brain let's use that so obviously with origami you can use any paper at hand so i'm going to make a square grab yourself some paper or you can decorate it and we're going to do it the traditional way which does feel very comforting in your hands removing that rectangle I'll actually i might reverse it so i can see the brain <laughs> brainy crane oh it does rhyme too doesn't it um little nick there and tearing that one so i hope you can get into the rhythm of once a fortnight at least it's keeping it going and i think it'll be a good mix then for everybody oh oh hello penny thank you for letting me know you are out there that's great excellent oh thank you barbara yeah appreciate it because i know it's really nice and i so appreciate you coming along every week um great and i thought i'd keep it the wednesday that i go to the hospital it's just a way of keeping things nice and clear for me but it's good that yeah i hope it'll be nice to think yeah being visited in person i can't wait you know even with Pfizer and masks to walk along with a bunch of origami flowers i'm just thinking the simple things flowers hearts and cranes can't go wrong can you really i think it'll be really needed right so let's fold the cray in the traditional way i've actually dug out one of these lovely isn't it a lovely little japanese diagram which came with some lovely papers which come from a uh, color tree british origami society um shop which i do encourage people to use because i know people often order things on amazon and it's such a disappointment there's some really rubbish paper i mean i don't know how you can go wrong with paper but honestly i've ordered some and it's not been good you can't it doesn't hold folds well goodness knows what it is but i mean most paper works but not necessarily right so you fold it in half like this we're going to next fold it in half there like so and um, quite often for the cranes, people would fold tiny little, tiny little colourful papers, which are gorgeous. I've got a few boxes like that. It's so nice. The easier, small in your fingers. But it's good so you can see what, what I'm doing. But it's really comfortable folding this way. So this is the traditional way. Hope you're all there. Right. If you need me to repeat anything, do so. I'm going to pop my finger into that pocket and squash it up here. It was quite sweet that the residents were, were impressed that I was folding into the air, which, of course, I've been doing a lot over this time. <laughs> it helps when it's a very familiar fold. It's harder otherwise. Excellent. Yay. Exactly. And that's what I always explain, Stephen, that it's, it's a shop run for people who really care about origami. Plus, it's very reasonable, good quality. Excellent. Turning it to the back. It's a nice name too, isn't it, Colour Tree? Yes, well thought through. Um, I tend to like to fold back along this line, just so it's... Oh dear. It's your USP. What's my USP, honey? What's a USP? Oh, I'm curious now. What is my... <gasps> oh, can I hold just for a moment? I think there's somebody who really, really needs to deliver something. So my apologies. I'm going to leave you just for a tiny second. Can you just chat amongst yourselves? It's for a neighbour. She needs to get to the Hey, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you. It was fine all along. Just looking out for my neighbours there. Right, folding on the air. Oh, that's very kind, honey. I was looking at USP and going, what is this? What the problem is with the internet connection? <laughs> right, I'm glad I'm back. So here we are, the pocket. And if you pop your finger into this side, have you followed this or have I gone completely off offline? I know most of you have folded the crane, but for some people it's completely new. Melvin, lovely. Oh, 
Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Really familiar names and you feel really familiar. And yeah, I guess most of us have not met in person. What a weird thing, but the closeness. And I think you don't need to, yeah, to feel close. Yay, hope you're doing well, Melvin. It's a joy, isn't it, the, um, the crane? Yes. So hopefully, have you got something like this? Do you need me to repeat anything? Please do say if you do. I think probably almost all of you have done this before. <laughs> but you can never fold enough cranes, can you? And it's always just hard, oh, it's lovely. So the top edge is kind of open. So taking this outside to the middle line. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely taken practice to do in the air. It's because I can see, thankfully I can see myself. So that's why I can do it into the camera. If I couldn't see anything, it'd be a lot harder. Great, glad we're stable for a little bit, Eric. Thank you for letting me know. I don't know what's going on recently. Is it me or is it? Yay, it is nice, isn't it? This is a great one. So again, the outside to the middle. And I think cranes have just so much meaning everywhere, don't they? Yes, there we go. Outside to the middle there. There we go. That's a double layer. And then the bottom triangle, just pushing this up. Oh, it is quite an obsessive thing, but it's, oh, that's just great. I think that's, that's, yeah, that's part of its beauty somehow. You feel like you're getting somewhere, don't you? Right, bringing this down. I have to say, I haven't done a thousand cranes. How many of you have done a thousand cranes? It's just like, where would I put them? That's what I've, that's what I've heard. So if you're contributing to a bigger display, it's really nice. But, um, right, so it's all folded like that. And I unfolded and we're going to take the top layer i recommend holding onto that little triangle opening up that top layer and bringing down now if any of you are free saturday after next i better get promoting it again um going to be doing some folding of cranes with Kimmy, who I've mentioned, and we can hear more about the project, just a really informal chat. Oh, that's lovely to hear, Melvin. Oh, that extra 200. <laughs> um, that's a good number, though, isn't it? It's a lot, yeah. And I've, so, sorry, I'm ending up chatting when just doing it without talking about it. But taking that top layer, holding there, bringing it down, bringing in the sides, gently, gently getting to a nice little point there. So, yeah, it'll be through Zoom, 11 to 12. Um, you can book through Eventbrite um, and yeah, fold cranes and hear about Kimmy's work, which I just think will be really interesting. Um, there we go. Oh, I think I heard someone at the door again. I'm sorry, I'll be just a second. Just a second. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> Feel very disjointed. I hope you're chatting amongst yourselves. Ah, <sighs> that's good. <laughs> Yes, please do, please do. Um, again, if you look on Twitter, I will share it again, actually, the link. Um, so it's just an hour and we'll fold, ask Kimmy about, and I think about asking about just origami, her experience origami in Japan growing up with, with, with origami. And I think it'd be really, really interesting. So I thought actually just cranes, just make lots of cranes. You could either make a little hanging for yourself or, um, or make some and then you could send them to Kimmy. Uh, who's here in Oxford at the moment so yeah excellent oh welcome folding things that's great yay we're here in the fold I'm sure you've done this one before the traditional crane but as we we're saying you can't do enough right we're onto the back <laughs> this one's got a brain on it um but bringing it down so keeping that triangle there bringing it down and I guess kind of rolling in Rolling in gently, gently. You're reforming those shapes. And there's just something very lovely about all these shapes. 
and actually I think with smaller paper it does it a lot more easily and bigger there we go yeah I hope you're doing well as well folding things hope you're folding things I'm sure you are folding things bound to be that name <laughs> so there's a sort of leggy end I, I'm gonna turn it round so at the leggy end at the bottom that feels right somehow at least that's what I've ended up doing um so I'm going to take the bottom uh, bottom leggy bit and I'm going to take the top layer and bring it along that vertical line. You will do this in your sleep, I know. I try to do it as if it's the first ever time you've done these things. Although this has been very disjointed. There we go. And the same bottom one into the middle. Like so. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they probably don't have quite as big a brain as this. And this side, curious to see where the brain will end up. <laughs> uh, bottom to the middle. We're almost there. And there is just something very relaxing about all of this, isn't there? And however many times you've done these things, you still have to concentrate. And I think that's the beauty. Origami encourages you to concentrate. Oh, I hope you're, yeah, folding, unfolding things and get yourself properly, properly settled in. I hope your move has gone well. It's disruptive, isn't it, moving? But... Hope you can start to get comfortable. And, um, right, so you've got one kind of leggy end, one what's going to become what? Basically, turn it to the side, open it up, bring this up, up there, and folding it into itself. And it's just, well, it's just something lovely about this quality of paper, isn't there? That it's, it's almost a bit tricky. I think that's. Maybe that's where its satisfaction comes from. Again, opening up at the side, bringing it up, seeing parts of the brain there, <laughs> and then folding it in on itself. So, yeah, I'm quite excited about working directly with patients again. It's been very, well, it's been impossible as to how would you engage from afar. Poor old staff will be so pushed that it's only through then that I could working with patients and they don't have they won't be pushed so um i've just mostly worked with staff staff really important too it'd be lovely to to help with people um in person as well so i usually find i don't know about you i usually find one end telling me it's a head so i am going to this one is definitely telling me it's a head so it's sort of keeping it flat bringing it down and then squeezing it in on itself. And I think everyone does these things slightly differently. Um, I used to bring out the head and the tail out at a bit of an angle, but I'm not now. And I think actually it looks like as in Japan, they don't do that. So I think I do prefer them still sticking up quite vertically. Don't know about your opinions on these things, but it can really vary how you do things. And then for me, I take the wings just down, bring them down and then pulling out and they're sort of, back of the brain or in this case the cortex is expanding so we've got a little bit of a little bit of a brain <laughs> looks interesting if i could have colored it pink <laughs> oh i like how it's looking off at the side too as soon as it's an animal it's just got that little unique personality oh so wow so you're coming back to yeah, full full capacity, Melvin. Yeah. Well, a hospital's a bit different because they're so vulnerable. That's that's the thing. The rest of society can sort of return to normal-ish, but hospitals really. So it'll be really lovely, though, to offer that care. Obviously, I'll be taking lateral flow as well um, so I can make sure I'm fine. Uh, I hope I hope that's gone well. And if you do want to get in touch, if you would like to make... Um, to send any cranes to 
Osaka. Um, via Oxford, because that, that would be much easier just to post. Uh, we need to receive them by the 12th of June. We'll be posting them on. And I know people there are really touched that people around the world would join them in folding cranes. And I am thinking about maybe we could do something bigger in the longer term as well. It'd be really nice to contribute. Maybe encouraging children here to get folding. Think, thinking that link of folding as a child and it can stay with you throughout your life. <laughs> Hypothalamus. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the identification there. Yeah, it's the inside of the brain, really. <laughs> you're very welcome thank you for, for joining me on that and i'll be here next week and then i'll start from then it'll be fortnightly i think um but it's nice that we can keep, still keep this going while doing some things in person as well so i hope that'll be a good balance we will get there um i think it's good that we're we're still in an intermediate and i don't think things will ever get back to what's normal now so it's good to have both Oh, I'm really glad, Adrian. It is really calming, isn't it? Lovely, lovely cranes. And obviously, you've got that nice little hole. So you could put a little thread and then pull up your needle through the back and then onto the next one. And you can have lovely, lovely. Yes, so I am with you next week. Next week, as usual, then there'll be a gap. But I will say, yeah. So next week, usual. And that will be the start of it being fortnightly. Oh, glad you enjoyed it honey and uh wishing you all very well enjoy your cranes i hope they give you a new little lease of life for now and happy happy folding it's a beauty isn't it let yourself soar with a crane take care everyone bye see you next week next week bye bye